And now to gun violence and school safety. We want to join the want you to join the conversation. Tell us uh, which do you prioritize to curb gun violence, gun control, mental health, maybe both. You can vote by going to abc7news.com slash vote. And today students at two North Bay high schools got a rare opportunity to talk school safety and gun violence with the congressman who represents them. ABC 7 News anchor Eric Thomas has more. I've been looking forward to this conversation with you. That's how North Bay Congressman Jared Huffman began his Q&A session with the 90 or so students at Lagunitas Middle School in San Geronimo. The kids in grades 6 through 8 didn't waste any time. How do you feel about the right to bear arms and the right to buy semi-automatic guns? We've always allowed reasonable restrictions on the right to bear arms under the Second Amendment. Huffman's appearance comes two weeks after 19-year-old Nicholas Cruz opened fire with an AR-15 rifle inside a Parkland, Florida high school. 17 people were killed. The result? anxious students and worried parents across the country. Both schools reached out to Congressman Huffman's office to come in and talk to students about gun safety and school violence, and he was glad to oblige. There's incredible pressure right now on Congress to step up and do something on this issue. Later in the day, Huffman spoke to students at Casa Grande High in Petaluma. He told them a step in the right direction would include a federal ban on assault-style weapons and more rigorous background checks for gun purchases. Some students were looking for something more. What can we do? Because we don't have the power that they have. So I would suggest you got a lot of power right now uh, as part of a restless generation that is just not going to take it anymore. He says keeping pressure on elected officials through calls, letters, and social media is one way to exercise that power. In Petaluma, Eric Thomas, ABC7 News.